I've got three tips for you. First off is to make use of the aerial photography sites on the web. Now, Google Earth's a real good one, Multimap's a good one. My preference is for Multimap simply because it, it gives the option of viewing the lake from all different compass points. You can have a look at the lake from the south, the north, the east, the west, and quite often what you'll find is maybe a shot from the east might have been taken in the middle of summer on a heavy algal bloom. Maybe there was a heavy ripple on the surface, but either way, not great conditions to spot in the features, the gravel bars and what have you. So click on all of the views, check out all of them. It might be the next view you look on, a view from the south. It might have been taken in the middle of the winter on a a flat calm day, crystal clear water and you can see every bar, every feature and it really is a great help. Quite often before you've even gone for a walk around the lake you've got a good idea where you're going to start. So it really is a great edge, take advantage of it. My second tip is to get out of bed nice and early in the morning. Dawn's by far the best time to be watching the lake, it's when the fish prefer to feed, it's when it's cooler and you really do want to be up and watching. And following on from that, tip three is to make sure that you've got your baits and rigs ready before you go. If you're going to make the effort to go, go to a lake for a dawn start, then also make the effort to tie your rigs and baits on before you go, and that way you might turn up at the lake, see a load of carp jumping and bubbling, and you're ready to cast out straight away. There's nothing worse than having to spend half an hour or so setting up your rods, and all the while the fish are jumping and bubbling in front of you. Really frustrating. So have your rods ready before you go, you can cast out as soon as you get there or as soon as you find the fish, and I can think of quite a few occasions where I've still got the kit on the barra, and I've had a take, you know what I mean? So a real edge and another one not to be ignored. So those are my top three tips. Hopefully you'll find them as useful as I have over the years.